All right, I'm making this video today because a friend of mine insisted that he see me shoot this for the first time. This is a Taurus uh, G2C, it's in nine millimeter. And the reason why I got it was uh, a few weeks back, I was trying to uh, escape the smoke in my part of the Great Basin. And so I went on a road trip and one of the places I ended up at, it was an area that was a recreational area and uh, there was no shooting signs and oh, it just didn't seem wise to go hiking with a rifle over my shoulder. And so what I did is uh, to uh, uh, make it uh, so I was safe and basically it's not the two-legged animals I was worried about. Basically where I was at is prime mountain lion country. And uh, I like going off trail and I like hiking and seeing areas uh, more than just what's on the trail. So what I did is, is I had a holster in my trailer and I was able to set it up in a manner that my carry gun, I was able to take it with me. And basically it's in a, in a place in a manner that I could get to it pretty good in a hurry. So when I got back, my carry gun, it was a little bit smaller, single stack. Uh, I was looking for a double stack, but anyway, I showed up at Cabela's, and the reason why I was at Cabela's in Reno is a friend of mine, William DeFeline, showed up and we were talking on the phone, so he invited me to come and have breakfast. By the way, thanks for breakfast, William. Uh, but when I got done there, I went down over by Cabela's. I figured, you know, if I'm gonna be driving a few hours, a couple hours to get to Reno and back, then I might as well make it a good trip. So I went by Cabela's and I asked them in the counter, I got three criteria for a gun. I want lightweight, I wanted uh, uh, adjustable sights, and I wanted it to have a safety on it. And there's like 30 or so guns on the counter there. And uh, he's looking at, I don't have anything you need. And he's looking, he goes, wait a minute. And he picked this one up and this is literally the only gun that comes with a safety that he had for sale that day. Everything else does not have a safety. And I don't care what anybody says, if you can pull the trigger with anything, even this pin, because it shoots double action, you can make it go off. It is not a safe gun unless you have a safety on it. Any autoloader is that way. So anyway, that was my criteria for a gun. So. That night, when I got home, a friend of mine, Eddie, calls me up, and I'm talking to him, and I go, oh, yeah, I had breakfast with William DeFeline. They happened to know each other. And uh, he said, what did you buy? So I told him what it was, and he just started laughing at me, and he started urinating all over the gun. He apparently has one, and he does not like it at all. So he wanted me to make a video of shooting it for shooting it for the first time. So what I decided to do, I'd also uh, include in this video what I do when I get a gun for the first time, and especially an auto loader, the, the, the process that I go through in making sure that I agree that it's a safe to operate gun. Now, I'm not gonna do any drop tests or nothing like this. What I go through is, is at home, I take the gun apart, clean it, uh, lube it up, inspect it, make sure everything is good. And then from there, when I come out to the range and this, uh, has to do with years ago uh, when SKSs first started showing up at gun shows. You can pick up the, the the decent ones for 40 bucks, and I mean the ones that look like they're beat to hell. You could pick up for 25 bucks. But I started hearing rumors about accidental shootings with the guns, and because of what happened with those, I've applied that to every semi-auto gun that I've ever owned. And even, you know, if it's a bolt action, whatever it is, is it's still, you go through the safety procedure. But in the case of a semi-auto, what I do is I stick one round in the chamber, point it down range and rack it. Make sure it doesn't go off. And the reason why that is back to the SKS story, back in the day when they first were showing up at the gun shows, I started hearing about the accidental shootings. There was a thing with people were taking apart, they were cleaning them, but the firing pin apparently would be jammed in it. 
And so when they close the bolt, it would slam fire. And of course, if there was had five, six, ten in that magazine, if it slammed fire, it took off running. And if it took off running and you don't have a good hold and good purchase on that gun, you are going to uh, <laughs> have a massive gun failure. And uh, in some of the cases, I heard the gun took off and took off running and went flying backwards because they're hanging on to it in a manner, you know, like this, and they're grabbing the bolt butt stocks here. Well, when it took off running, they didn't have a good enough here, and the gun just took off this way, and they got shot in the back. So anyway, this is why I go through the procedure that I go through. Uh, so I'm going to show Eddie here, and the whole idea is because Eddie wants to see what it looks like for the first time when I... Uh, shoot around. Uh, he wants to see the look on my face because like I said, he urinated all over this thing. He thinks it's a big piece of crap and well, quite frankly, he could be correct. So here we go. Okay, here we go. One round of the magazine. I'm right-handed, so I will be shooting it left hand the first time. Hold the gun safe down range. Aim at the target. Let it go. Put the safety on. Safety feels really good. Safety off. <laughs> kind of felt a little interesting. There you go, Ed. But that's what I do with the first round. Then I take two rounds and stick it in there. I mean, the important thing is right now the gun cycled and it locked back the slide, the magazine stop. So now I'll go right-handed, see how it feels. Interesting. There is the uh, trigger safety on it. It feels like as it's coming off, it's dragging just slightly. But the trigger as a whole feels pretty good. Uh, I don't like that. I'll have to clean that up a little bit. Uh, let me get... Okay, so I'm going to put some uh, of my light hand loads in here. So I'm going to see how it cycles with a little bit of a lighter load. They're still 115 grain bullet, so they should cycle okay. Let's see how they do. Actually not too bad, considering I've never held it before. A little right on that target. Fairly dead center, up and down. Uh, that's me. I'm going to have to get uh, used to the sights a little bit. But overall, Eddie, it's not bad. I don't, and it's fixable, easily fixable, I'm sure. But that darn trigger safety, I feel it the first time I get on it. When I pull through it, there's like a tick right there. So it needs to be worked on just a slight bit. I don't know, Ed. I'm taking a liking to this thing. That little tick might uh, work itself out a little bit too shooting it. But overall, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to sight it in. I didn't bring myself a screwdriver like an idiot, so I don't. I can't adjust the sights. But it's still hitting on here effectively. In a short-range self-defense situation, I would be okay. Okay, that was my distance test. That's uh, 45 or 50 yards. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, when I was holding it, I was hoping that the sights looked to me like I'd be able to go out to 100 yards and, you know, be able to hit my steel target out there. So I got a chance with it. Uh, I'm not sure I like the sights that much, but uh, hopefully I'll get used to them. Okay, what I'm going to do here is my uh, point and pull. Basically, when I get a gun that's going to be a self-defense gun, if you can't point it and at least be in the general direction of your target, you shouldn't be carrying it because it'll make a difference in a panic situation. If you pull it up and it's pointing over here and you've got to redirect it, it is not a gun 
that you should be carrying because you're losing time going like this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring it down. Let me get the safety on. I'm just going to bring it up and pull. Now it's just a little low and slight left of the target. It's not too bad for first time. And that target is 15 yards away. Okay, I'm going to be a little close to the target here, about five, six, seven yards away. I've got it uh, at a pretty good angle, so everything should go into the ground. Uh, we're going to do the point and pull and see where it goes. Point and pull. I'm really liking this thing, Eddie. Uh, I'm not even feeling that uh, notch in the uh, trigger anymore. I'm warming up to it, Eddie. I don't even feel the uh, hitch on the trigger when I'm doing that. I mean, it just goes pretty clean and the gun's not really moving a whole lot. It's not doing pretty bad.